Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. Any evil plans of the enemies have been dismantled against you. Anything the enemies have stolen from you has been returned to you. As I have said, so shall it be. Mote. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Y'all know I am always struggling to shovel on this channel. Lord have mercy. It is embarrassing, but it's part of this channel's identity now. Okay. All right. So we have the nine of cups, the two of cups, and the knight of cups. Someone chose wish fulfillment over a two of cups situation. Someone may have been misguided. Instead of going with love, they instead chose money. But some of you, someone may want to connect with you because they know you are abundant. Someone may be coming in to gaslight you, give you some type of immature love offer, and they want to make this seem as though they're bringing balance into your life. But there is some type of ulterior motive to this, okay? Uh, someone may be being sent in to mislead you so that you can make the wrong choice. You may have a, a soul contract with a higher level soulmate, but someone wants to come in and give you a lesser offer, which means the person you'll be connecting with is not the person that you are meant to be with. Someone wants you to see them as wish fulfillment, even though they are not, yeah? Even though they are not. You're going to be connecting with a higher level soulmate where you will have equal give and take things of that nature you will be receiving some type of upgrade in life some type of abundance elevation that is due to you by judgment of the most high but just be mindful there is someone from either your past someone that's watching you keeping track of you someone that knows about you wants to interfere with this love connection right someone feels that they should have you someone feels entitled to you there could be something about like a past life contract that this person feels like they're where this person feels like they're you are obligated to them you have to be with them this is like a false twin going up against a higher level soulmate or this could be a soul twin that is toxic going up against a higher level soulmate it's quite interesting just just really interesting okay um but someone wants to come in and make it look like they have changed they've healed they want to do the right thing move forward they support you that they've been just waiting for the right time to come in and give you this love offer it is absolutely an illusion that you do not need to be partaking in um i'm telling you the god's honest truth Someone is coming in to cause you an illusion. Someone has some type of motive. It's like their goal is to defeat you. So maybe you rejected this person in the past um, and they've been planning on how to come towards you. This person could have some type of institution behind them that is sending them towards you. It's like they're supposed to be perfecting who they think your ideal soulmate is. These people could know who you're meant to be with and they're sending you a masculine that's going to act, act like your soulmate, but he's not. And there's some type of motive behind this is to block this equal give and take love where you're, you two are very creative, you're very abundant, you pour into each other, You your love is genuine. They want to block that. So there's some type of ulterior motive with this person coming towards you. The Knight of Cups, uh, if you are new to my channel, this is a shaky, shaky love. Meaning it is imbalanced. It's not steady. It's like one, one second someone likes you, the next minute they, long, they don't. One second they're in love with you, the next minute they can't stand you. Something like that. This is how the Knight of Cups move. 
while they are passionate about the things they do and whatsoever, that passion does not last long. They can have love for you for maybe a week. And then a, after that, it's that, uh, I don't know if I like you. I don't know if I want to be with you. I'm still thinking about it. And then the next week, I love you. You are my soulmate. I want to be with you forever. And then after that, they're back to, and I don't know about this. I'm really trying hard. It's like so back and forth. It's a freaking headache. It's a full-time job. Some of you, if you don't have self-esteem to the point where you're supposed to have it, you may have this person questioning, have you questioning, questioning your self-worth and things of that nature, and which is really heartbreaking. Do not let this person around you. They absolutely have some type of ulterior motive. They know that you know the truth about them. They thought maybe you wouldn't know that they have ulterior motives or why they're coming in to you. Someone knows that you're receiving some type of promotion in life. And so they want to come in and cause some, cause some type of tower in your life. This person could be going through a tower and this is why they're coming towards you because they want you in the same state as them. So if they're going through hard times, they want you going through hard times. If they don't have any genuine love in their life, they don't want you having any genuine love in your life. Okay, but if some type of rule awakening this person is going through, they won't be able to hinder anything in your life anymore. I've been seeing the number nine quite a lot, which means that there's some type of karmic cycle you all have been going through that is absolutely over. Yeah, it's over for this person. If someone is in distress that they cannot block this love from coming in, but they are absolutely determined to interfere with it, right? And the fact that they think they can interfere with it, it is absolutely an, 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 an illusion because there will always be divine intervention um, on your behalf, right? You are someone that is under 24 seven watch, whoever you are in the collective, whoever resonates with this, someone is gonna be forced to walk away from you. Um, so just, or just even walk away from this plan of coming towards you is just not being not being allowed. This relationship or this upgrade in life is your justice. Absolutely, it is your justice. This is gonna lead to some type of abundance in life. You can also expect to receive some type of message from someone that's going to be revealing the truth to you. Okay. Um, some of you have been waiting for something you don't know what it is you're waiting for you don't know how you're going to receive whatever it is you're waiting for but just keep waiting you will receive it in due time okay keep pushing forward keep taking charge of your life a decision has been made for things to go in your favor uh and this is by yeah by an act of the most high someone yeah someone overindulges they're into wealth they're into the finer things in life, but they have poor character. Someone lost a lot of money because they overindulged in something. Yeah, someone lost a whole lot. Someone could have been paying for magic, paying for something, whatever it was they were paying for, it didn't go in their favor. It's like someone took one last shot at it. They've done quite a lot behind the scenes. It's like, oh, one more, just one more. I guarantee you it's gonna work this time. And they went and spent their last dollar on the last spell work. And it didn't pay out. Someone took a calculated risk and it did not pay out. It didn't work out in their favor. They thought they were going to be having some type of brand new beginning. Some type of new opportunity. Something. But it didn't pay out. Okay? They thought they would be receiving something. But absolutely not. Okay? And this is because balance is being brought into this situation. And this is divine judgment, okay? Someone absolutely expected to defeat you. They feel entitled to something that's yours. Whether this is a relationship, whether this is a promotion, someone feels entitled. It's that like someone feels that you don't deserve what it is that the universe is giving you. So if it's love, if it's a position, if it's a business, if it's fulfillment, whatever it is, just happiness, they don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you successful. They don't want to see your wishes come through. And this is because someone is just broken internally and there's nothing you can do about it. I would just disregard these types of people. These are people that, people that walk around with a mask, hiding their hurts and things like that. Instead of taking time to heal, 
they will instead invest their time into trying to destroy other people and at the end of the day it just makes things worse for their situation it's like everything they're sending towards you is automatically being sent back to them and day after day they find themselves in this situation and things are just getting worse okay so it's like someone going to go pay for spell work but really they're paying for spell work for something to be done to you but really in reality they are paying for something to be done to them because their energy is being returned to them especially if you didn't do anything to these types of people they are absolutely spending their own money yeah and then i said pay for spell work and then the high priestess shows up they're paying for spell work going to high priestesses and things like that to have things done to you maybe beauty spells on a living spells all kinds of spells they're sending towards you and it's not working it's not going to work it's not meant to work right and uh, someone overindulged in this types of type of behavior they've overspent someone spent recklessly because they expected to defeat you they've defeated everyone else in the past so they felt that they had the upper hand that they were destined to defeat you only for them to end up losing everything They've lost a lot. And I don't know if this person is going to be able to recover, but they've lost quite a lot. Okay? There's some type of comp competition. It's like there's a woman in a competition with another woman. You don't know her, but she knows you because she stalks you. There is a woman that stalks people. This is a Caucasian woman that's stalking women or other people online, but she has something for someone specific. It's that she has some type of vendetta against someone specific and she stalks you all day 24 7 when this woman doesn't even brush her teeth when she wakes up in the morning does not even wash her face wash her behind if you post content online you best believe the first thing she does is get on your page to watch if she has any type of way of keeping track of you in real life you best believe that's the first thing this person is not getting any sleep like, this is a full-time job. I'm talking about a lot of hours put into stalking someone online, and this is unhealthy. Someone is, like, they have let themselves go. There's a woman that's living in depression because she's so fixed on another woman, and this is a Caucasian woman that's doing this. She is so fixed on another woman, destroying another woman, and this has to do with some type of gift you have a gift or you have some type of ability or you have some type of creativity skills you have some type of business skill that this woman does not possess and she has some type of fear of you overtaking or you having some type of upper hand so she has been doing things behind the scenes possibly stealing from you and it has been exposed someone is obsessed with you there is also a woman that has been pretending for years to have some type of gift that she does not have so she's been misleading people and this is this has been found out okay someone is going to be replaced by another person but she's aware of who you are before this replacement is going to take place so she's been doing things behind the scenes to prevent you from even coming into some type of company organization some type of group something like that but this woman is talking someone like i saw her face in a dream i've seen her face in visions this woman is talking someone and it's really horrendous this is like little girl things little girl behaviors where you are okay with stalking another woman neglecting your health and things like that, your hygiene just to watch another woman in the beginning there were two she and her partner were doing this now i don't know if the partner walked away or he's working from behind the scenes but they were absolutely working together and now she has some type of fixation with you he may even have some type of fixation with you uh she may be sending him in to gaslight you or he decided this on his own just be mindful about that but there's absolutely a feminine energy i'm telling you look the social media card came out <laughs> i tell you a joke but i won't tell you a lie she's watching you whoever you are this woman is watching you someone did not mature the right way this is why they think it's okay to stalk other people online someone didn't mature the right way this is someone that has a lot of issues uh self-image issues 
mindset someone is like stuck in some type of paradigm that's just it's not relevant anymore someone is a bigot as well is that she dislike you either because you're of some type of ethnic background and she thinks she's better than you but she's stealing from you at the same time the logic is not logicing but the karmic is karmicing I cannot, I will not be staying in that energy. Someone has absolutely been paying for spell work, looking into your life, wanting to know when you are going to receive some type of offer, divine intervention. I'm telling you, wanting to see when you are when you are going to receive some type of offer, whether it is a business offer, love offer, whatever it is, this woman is fixed on someone, Okay. And there could be a masculine being sent towards you for some of you feminines to trick you so you can end up in the wrong, the wrong relationship. You do have a higher level soulmate, a, a soul contract with someone, but there's someone coming in to give you a false offer. And you need to ask your ancestors in the universe to keep this person out of your energy and away from you. Uh, for some of you, for those of you that this has to do with work, do not sign any contract with anyone. That's what I'm being told to tell you. Do not sign a contract with anyone. If someone comes in, they say they want to help you, helping you does not require a, a contract. Okay? It does not require a contract. There's a company also, there's been so much going on, like so many downloads. There's a company also that wants to create some type of court case for someone to hold them back. They're trying to set you up so you can end up signing some type of document. Whatever court case they're bringing up against you is not even legit. This is a fraudulent case. They're trying to make it seem like you did something, either stole some money, did something to hinder their company, uh, did some type of slander, or uh, did something, right? They're writing a letter that they want to send you so they can have you in distress because they want you in this state of mind. You manage to get away from either a partner, a company, some type of situation. Maybe you got out of a coat. Some of you, whatever it is, these people are getting some type of letter together, some type of affidavit, whatever you guys call it, some type of court paper to file charges against you. And it's all based on a lie. This has been planned out and they think these people have been planning different things on how to trap you. And this is their last tactic, filing this court case against you because they think it's going to trap you, keep you stuck. You're going to sign some type of document where it'll trap you with them, cause you to end up in some type of prison sentence or something. It's not going to happen. Divine intervention. I'm telling you, divine intervention. You're going to be sealing onto karma waters divine intervention your ancestors are not having it they are not having it but this is a well thought out plan by a group of people this they think this is the only way to defeat you because they want to block some type of union from coming in so if you are locked up or whoever this is is locked up you two cannot come together they're trying to block some type of promotion for some of you so if you're locked up honey guess what you can't receive that promotion this is a plan they know you have they know you have some type of new opportunity coming towards you exactly you have some type of victory coming towards you and you're trying to hinder that you see that right there the two of cups followed by the six of wands you're going to have victory in love victory in business you and your partner may end up working together you may receive some type of bad news or some type of news that's going to break your heart but you'll be okay you are going to be a okay but this is something that's being planned out by these people. It's like they want to come in also and give you some type of, for someone, they want to come in and give you some type of negative news about the person you're meant to be with. Like, hey, did you know he did this? Did you know he did this in his past? He used to do this or he unalived this person or he unalived a pet. They said they want to get a reaction out of you. But this is going to be your energy, like not paying them no mind in your own world or something while they are crying because that's exactly what is going to be going on. Like you're not paying these people any mind. When they come to you, you're probably turned away from them and say, here go these negative Nancy's, these karmic, these karmic Karens coming again with their same old shenanigans. You want to tell me you still haven't grown the heck up yet? You're still stuck in this energy? 
yeah listen stuck in this energy i'm telling you and this is all for greed they don't want this masculine to be prosperous outside of them they don't want you to be prosperous they don't care if you're if it's prosperity with this masculine or feminine or someone else they don't want you to be prosperous as at all because they benefit off of you being alone this is not the energy for a star scene being alone uh, uh, isolated unprotected by any type of physical partner or friends family they don't want you having any of that you are protected by the cosmos but these people don't want you receiving any type of physical protection on earth but little do they know you already have that you already have that. Someone may have walked away from some type of institution because they just know this institution is dark. There's a masculine that walked away from an institution because he realized what this institution was. Or maybe he never knew he was in a coven, something like that. But people are going to start walking away from these types of organizations where they are being trapped and just not thriving in life. It said we've been in this for 10 years we've been in this for 20 years i'm so sick of this i'm so tired of doing this i want to be free i want to experience life at its fullest i want to be able to go home and spend time with my family when i want to without anyone calling me in the middle of the night to go do some stupid task that i don't want to do people want to be free and they deserve to be free free as a bird free as a bird some of these people in these clothings, they are pissed off because they see you, you are free, they know you are protected and they cannot really do anything to you. So they have to resort to these tactics, right? To these tactics, trying to bind you and things like that, but they know they cannot bind you. There's an emperor in the reverse. There's an emperor in the reverse. That is always alarming when this figure shows up in the freaking reverse dang who the emperor in the reverse this is someone who is a tyrant they don't like you questioning anything they say anything they do they want to force things on people they don't care if you like it, if you agree, it is your way or no way. And then he's a gaslighter. Lord have mercy. This is a nightmare. And he's strategic as well with what he does. He's malicious, cunning, and calculative. Lord have mercy. Stay away from this person. Stay away from this person. Someone thought they were logical, but this is someone unhinged. This is not someone logical, but this is someone calculative. And I don't know if that makes sense. Like they plan what they do, but there's no logic behind what they're doing. It's like they come up with a stupid plan. This is how we're going to do this. But the logic behind it is not logicing, if that makes sense. And they always think they're going to have some type of victory and they're going to go for it. And they don't. And, and, and it doesn't work out. This is someone that likes to force his way. I'm telling you, Lord have mercy. This is someone that likes to force his way. He likes to force his way. It's his way or no way. This is a tyrant. This is someone in balance. This is the reason why this person is a tyrant is because they like self-control. They don't have boundaries. They will do any and everything for money to make sure they get what they want. This is a warlock. This is a warlock. And someone thinks they can come in and gaslight you with a false love offer to get you off of your path, to get you to partner up with them, sign some type of contract, fall in love with them. Lord, whatever he thinks he can do, it's not gonna happen. That's being, that's a, I just wanna say that's a dead end. There, this is a no, it's not happening. Someone is being sat down. By the universe he has ulterior motives absolutely ulterior motives someone may want to come in and propose to you don't accept that proposal if you don't know someone you haven't dated them you're not available for marriage until you get to know them and 
however long it takes you to get to know them that's however long it takes you to get to know them do not put a timeline on there when people have ulterior motives that's when they come in and they're bothered by you not wanting to hug them within one week you not wanting to kiss them within three weeks or something like that that's because they have ulterior motives someone that cares about you is going to let things go as slow as you need them to go slow they're not going to rush you into anything they're not going to force anything on you if you say you don't want to do something they're going to respect your boundaries this person does not have any boundaries so they don't even know how to respect other people's boundaries it's an insult to tell this person no let me say that again it is an insult to tell this type of person no because why they've never been told no before because of the types of people they surround themselves with people that are unsure of themselves and then here you come by thinking you have standards thinking you're all this in a bag of chips and you have the audacity to fix your mouth and tell them no you are insulting them in their world this he's the king of his world no matter how chaotic his world is no matter how delusional he is his word is all that matters in his world okay his words are all that matters in his world i wouldn't be surprised if this is someone that does db to the women that he's in connections with or even other people around him this is someone ruthless and this is someone that knows how to play on people's emotions he knows how to gaslight you in the beginning where he'll give you everything you want if he sees that you're looking at something he'll buy it for you he is prepping you you know how we prep our turkeys before we put them in the oven yes ma'am this is what this person does they will prep you very well before they stuff you into that oven and and bake you very well and you're in there it's hot in here and he's sitting at you sitting looking at you like i know that's why i put you in there so you can get done quicker that's that type of person these kind of people do not have emotions so it doesn't matter what they're doing to you trying to appeal to their emotional side is a waste of time because there are no emotions this is shallow this is hollow you ever hit on an empty pot when it's upside down? You hear that echo? Yeah. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. You are being advised to see things from a higher perspective and find your strength to keep going. Keep it pushing. Do not, do not connect with this person. Be practical about the matter. Be practical about it. And I'm telling you, do not. Put an end to this person immediately when they come towards you if they make it in your energy okay and you doing that is your karma you putting an end to the chapter with this person preventing them from from even going a meeting with you thinking they can gaslight you put a stop to it they will know you you don't have time for their nonsense okay your car your karma is to tell this person no it's a plan i'm telling you it is a plan. Someone think they can come in, maybe they see you alone. Maybe you're a single woman going to college, uh, working a good job or something like that. You're by yourself. You may not have children. You may have children. You could be a single mother, whatever it is. But they think they can come in and be your savior, be your knight in shining armor. But this is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And you're a queen of cups. And you're showing up under this energy honey please stay away from this monster stay away this person is planning on how to come towards you there is an emperor that you will be connecting with that is putting an end to all of his toxic ways someone is going through healing so that they are ready when the time comes for them to get in a relationship with you but it is not this person someone else is doing the healing the healing that they actually need to do they're actually making the effort. This person is not. This is someone that's used to getting their way with women. This is someone that likes younger energy. It's what I just heard. And he will do anything to get a hold of you. He does not care how much money he has to pay behind the scenes to make sure that no one else approaches you. He does not care how much he has to spend on some type of 
gift that you want, whether it's a car, whether it's some type of purse, he does not care. As long as he can get a hold of you and trap you, that's all he cares about. This person is strategic. Not smart, but strategic. This is a wild beast. Wild beast. And he may be coming in some type of hurry because he knows someone else is coming towards you. I'm telling you, someone else is coming towards you. Okay? This person could be working with a queen of cups. Maybe he's in a relationship with a queen of cups. This person is a liar. This person is in balance. With the fact that this queen of swords came after her in the reverse, there's something about this woman that you all need to be mindful of. This crazy person may send this woman in to you. And she's going to come in with a charm. She'll put on her charm. Make it seem like she's friends with you. This is like a recruiter. This is a recruiter. She's the one that comes in and gaslights you for him. She's recruiting people for him. This is a plan. This is a plan. She comes in, she befriends people with a whole lot of lies and things like that. She and this person may have some type of toxic relationship going on. But this is a plan to use her to come in so you can let your guard down. But she's a liar. She's not going to be truth with you, but she will put on a show. Okay? For some of you, you're in your Queen of Cups energy and someone wants to imbalance your mind. They want you seeing things the way that they're not supposed to be seen. Like they want you questioning your judgment. They don't want you seeing the truth about some type of offer you're going to receive. Like this is a thought out plan. This is not something accidental. This is thought out. This is a plan to come into a queen of cups and mislead her so that you, so that they can defeat you. Someone is coming in to try to defeat you. Someone does not think you are that smart. They may think you're dumb. You're easily manipulated. You're easy to take advantage of. This is part of the reason why this queen of swords is out here. They think you're all love and light. You don't use your brain. You only operate from your heart. And they think they, they, think they know you. And the way that they think they know you, they think it's going to ensure their victory over you. They're going to defeat you. But that's not true. I'm telling you, <laughs> tower. <laughs> it's a tower for your enemies. They need to stay where they are. This is a warning. Warning. Proceed at your own discretion. Warning. Proceed at your own discretion. Warning. Proceed at your own discretion. These people are about to lose everything if they proceed with this plan again warning proceed at your own discretion someone is about to lose everything if they haven't already everything someone thought they were going to cause you challenges it's that they do one thing it doesn't work and they do another thing right and it's still not working. They keep trying to cause you tower, but you're still staying in your genuine energy. They want to get you out of character. They want to make you seem unfit. They say, oh, you know that, you know that star C, that empress, that queen of cups you're so crazy about? Yeah, this is what she does behind the scenes. This is what he does behind the scenes. We told you this person was crazy. They want, they want you to seem this way. We told you this person was crazy. Meanwhile, the whole time you are in this energy, you're flourishing in life, going on about your business, not paying these people any mind, but they are behind the scenes doing things to enhance you, to get a, action, a reaction out of you. There's an institution that's involved in something that they should not be involved in. This is a whole plan. Lord have mercy. How are people committed in the lives of other people this much how can you have time to be this involved in another person's life or about another person like uh -uh. you can pay me enough money 
to care about someone else's life to this to this level nah someone has been before this is even happening while you're making this plan someone is being told to walk away it's not gonna work out they're gonna be disappointed and guess what someone is a narcissist and they're still going to keep trying someone wants to make sure they defeat you someone thinks it's their life purpose to defeat you it's crazy this could be in the past present or future this is a time that's read but someone whether it's a masculine or a feminine energy is absolutely determined to defeat you Someone from your past could be going to, through some type of karma too. They may have partnered up with some type of institution, some type of karmic, false queen of cups, something of that nature. But this person is going through some type of ending. And that's their karma. We all have to learn in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Some way, shape, or form. Someone overindulged in causing you an ending and they're disappointed because you're still having a fresh start. It's that they pay people to do you something, but they didn't, it didn't go according to plan. Someone has been paying for magic for a long time. It's like, when is this magic going to kick in? Like, I paid for this like two weeks ago. You told me it would work. <laughs> Honey, you're going to have to keep waiting because it's not going to work. Is not going to work. But someone is waiting for their magic to work. The magic they pay for. Someone is waiting to hear bad news about you. But it's not coming. They're going to stay disappointed for a long time. Someone is waiting. And they're going to keep waiting. Just waiting, waiting, and waiting, waiting, and waiting, waiting. Don't hold your breath while you're waiting. Please don't hold your breath. I'm telling you, you have a new, a fresh start coming in, new opportunities, new doors are opening for you, and this is what someone did not want. Someone is in competition with you for something you don't even know. You may not even know this person. Um, and the person, the woman that I saw in my dream, in my vision, I've never met this woman before. And I've always wondered, why do I keep seeing this woman? But she and her partner are into something where they are either stealing from other people behind the scenes. It's like someone taking other people's work and presenting it as theirs. And they may have some type of connection with these social media content, uh, 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 these social platform creators. I mean, oh Lord. Like the platform, they may have a contact in like with with TikTok or Instagram, the people that work those platforms, they may have a contact with those people, right? And they can easily make a phone call and an email and tell these people to hold your work back. So this couple, they've been doing this for a while, for a long time, or this woman has been doing this for a long time, but I get the feeling that she and her partner have been doing this for a long time. They just so happen to steal from someone of this energy and it's coming back to hunt them. And someone is thinking that they can just cover it up or pretend like it never happened. They're all going to keep it on a hush-hush. It's not going to work with this type of energy. The universe will always reveal that. There will always be a tower. I'm telling you, there will always be a tower, a revelation. The truth will always be exposed if you steal from these types of energies. And someone is going through depression because she's being exposed, because she stole from this energy, whoever this is. You staying in your clean energies uh, collective is why you get to move on. You still ha get to have your brand new passion in the beginning. You still get to be the blessing that you are to the world, basically. You're a kind-hearted person. And people have been working really hard to cause you an ending, cause you a tower. And the reason why they haven't been able to do it is because they lied. They lied on you. Usually with black magic, if you come after someone and they did something to you, then it'll have some type of effect. But if you lie, 
like you were malicious to that person and you hate it and you lie on them, there's nothing you can do that's going to cause this person an ending. As a matter of fact, every action you take against this person is going to be returned to you. And these types of people are born with protection around them. And when people are intimidated by this energy, this is when they start doing stupid stuff like this. Lying, trying to steal from you, take what's yours. And they don't know that there's consequences for that because they've done it to everyone else and they were successful. But then shocking, isn't it? They try to do it to you and it's not successful. It's like a rude awakening. And when they experience their rude awakening, it pisses them off. Because they'll see you as a nobody. Is it who is this nobody? And why can't I defeat you? I'll defeat you. I'll show you. And they keep doing stuff over and over and over and over. And the universe will sometimes sit back and watch them do whatever it is they're what they're doing until their last move they make. And it all goes crashing down. London Bridge is falling down. The Apple Tower is falling down. Everything is falling down. The Golden Bridge is not so golden anymore. Like, just is ring around the roses, ro ring around the rosy, pocket full of poses, ashes, ashes. We all fall down. This is what this person is going through. This is not just one person going through this. This is either three people, a whole group going down. For some of you, this is a couple that's falling down from grace. They just thought they would never be found out. But Source said, you know what? We're going to sit back and let you do this as long as you want to. But just know there's a deadline when we're ready. And so it happened. They all fell down. There's a Queen of Cups in reverse. You saw how that card jumped house and it flipped around and said, nope, she is not in the upright. Nope, this man is working with a Queen of Wands. They were coming after you by telling lies. Thank you for that clarity, spirit. These people have been working together. The both of them are gaslighter. These two have been in a relationship for a long time. This is a warlock. This is a femme fatale, an interest. Black Widow, whatever you want to call her, Jizzy Bell, Gold Digger, whatever you want to call her. These two have been walk, working together for a long time. And she wanted to pretend to be you to receive some type of opportunity, some type of offer, or this is what she's doing. It's not going in her favor. Okay? Someone in the reverse. This is someone reckless with their mouth, their body, everything they do. This is someone with no intuition. If they have an intuition, this misuse it. This person does not have an intuition from what I'm hearing. This is someone reckless in more ways than one. And she was coming for this energy. I'm so glad they gave me this clarity. They've been lying. There could possibly be a queen of cups in here as well that's not in the upright and is a liar. It's a lot of characters in here. You could have had like three people up against you, four people, whatever it is, a whole group. But they're all being exposed. Yeah. Someone presented themselves to be a privileged lady, someone independent, but they're not. There's someone behind this woman financing her life, making her appear like she's independent, but she's not. Making her seem like she's abundant, but she's not. And she thought she could pass off as you. And all of that is coming to an end. We all fall down. Well, they all fall down, collective, not us. Not us. They all fall down. Right there. Ah, ta -da! Game over. Someone thought that if they pre pretended to be you long enough, they would receive your abundance. And whatever your abundance is, whether it's a ten of pentacles that you are building, whether it's a financial uh, 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 offering, something that was left to you, an inheritance, someone thought they could steal it from you. Someone is obsessed. There's a woman in here. It's this woman as well. She's struggling financially. If you see this woman, she'll have all the name brand stuff on, 
probably driving the latest car but doesn't have a dime in her bank account like myself here but she pretends like she's better than everybody else someone is faking success you know they're fake it till you till you make a statement this is her but she's not going to be making it Someone is like the complete opposite of you, but they want to pass off as you. And, it's, and if you are someone that does not have spiritual eyes, you actually don't even need spiritual eyes to see the truth about this person. You, you have to choose to not see the truth about this character in order for you to not see it. That's how clear this person's character is, how karmic they are. And these two get along because as you can see, they're both in a reverse. It was not accidental that they fell on top of each other. They are a partner in crime. And they've been a partner in crime for a long time. They may not even like each other. They may not love each other, but they are into the same thing. Stealing from people, misleading people, gaslighting people, playing with people, manipulating people. They've been working together for a long time. This masculine could be married. She's in some type of relationship, but they have something going on. They have something going on. But he has some type of obsession with you, Star C, and it bothers her. So she has made it her mission to copy you, but she doesn't know what it's like to really be you. It's just what she sees from far away. So who you really are internally, she does not possess. So she can dress like you, try to talk like you, walk like you, act like you. But the internal aspect is just not there because you're you, you're a healer. This is a wild, a wild woman in the worst way possible. This is a femme fatale. And I, I heard the P word prostate, you know, the rest. Lord have mercy. While they're going through a tower, you're about to be in an abundant energy. It's like they want to keep interfering with your life. As soon as you think something is over, they do something else to, to discourage you. So, I'm never going to get rid of these people. Meanwhile, you don't even care. Most of you are not missing sleep, nothing. The only reason you miss sleep is if you choose not to go to bed at night. And they are working overtime, trying to end you, stop you, block you. And you are going to bed just fine, sleeping. I'm telling you, this is a toxic duo. This is a couple. This is absolutely a couple. For some of you, this is a coven. This is an organization. They do devil worshiping, something of that nature. This is an institution. And they've all been working together to block you. And they're all falling from grace. Some of these people don't even know why they came up against you. But because their coven said that you were the enemy, you became the enemy. But you are an empress. I'm telling you, you are an empress. You are an empress with a new beginning coming in. They're watching you, keeping track of you. They say, keep watching. If you have a platform and you block one, the other one said, what is she doing? What is he doing? I can't see her over here. I can't see him over here. Keep me updated Why I create my new fake profile. I have to see what the star C is doing, what the empress is doing. What is she doing now? What is he doing now? I'm still creating my fake profile. Oh, wait, she blocked this one. Oh, wait, he blocked this one again. Let me create a new one. Don't you get tired doing stupid stuff like that? Like the very notion of you taking time out of your day to keep creating fake profiles to stalk someone online. You don't feel childish? Lord have mercy. Like at some point, you don't feel insecure, immature, childish for doing things like this. Like some... Wait, hold on. Am I really taking time out of my day to create a fake profile to stalk someone online that's not paying me any mind? Where did you do that at? What, what happened to me? That You don't think that way? My sisters, my brothers who are karmics, you don't think that way? 
because I guarantee you anyone in this energy or an impress energy you suggest to them to create a fake profile to stalk someone you know what they're gonna do distance themselves from you because you're a problem you have a problem and they cannot help you with that problem you would oh girl let's create a fake profile so we can see what she's doing they'll look at you like what what did you say honey i have better things to do with my time i see you later but they'll never see you later because they don't want to hang around you because you just expose yourself as someone toxic someone karmic mm. okay someone is in distress oh, i'm telling you someone is in distress they cannot steal from you they cannot be you they cannot take you down Someone has lost all of their money, their stability. Someone may not be financing their lifestyle anymore, so they can't go around pretending to be what they are not anymore. Someone has been pretending very well. They can't do it anymore. It's over, darling. It's over. Pronto. Lord, I know my ancestors be watching me, listening to me like, honey, we didn't tell you to say half of that stuff you're saying. We don't need you to add all this sauce to it. Will you come on with this message? Listen, we are from the same lineage, so I know you all have sauce too. Someone is not getting any sleep. Someone is restless. Someone has bags around their eyes. Someone's not taking care of themselves. Meanwhile, collective, you are getting yourself a good night's sleep, doing your cleansing bath in your house i'm telling you someone is heartbroken someone is heartbroken because they cannot defeat you someone knows that you are heavily protected you don't have to lift a finger to do anything because you are pure hearted you're kind hearted you are honest with people genuine someone is hurt and broken because they cannot destroy you can you imagine someone making it their mission to steal from someone else, to destroy someone else that has done nothing to them, all based off of a lie, an ego? Because that's all it is at the end of the day. That's why this woman or this person, this group, this collaboration, that's all. That's why they want to take you down is because of ego and greed. That's it. Ego, greed, maybe jealousy because you're in this light energy. That's all it is. You didn't do anything to these people. They just feel entitled to what's yours. They don't want people seeing you in some type of specific light, whether that's a positive light. They don't want people caring about you. They don't want people being happy around you. They don't want people watching you if you're on social media. They don't want people supporting you. It's all they don't want, but it's like they're forgetting. It, your life is not their life. They're not the gods in your life. They don't have any power over you. These people don't even have power over themselves. They're in a coven for God's sakes. They're in a toxic dynamic for God's sakes. Fall from grace, rule awakening for God's sakes. And they have the audacity to want to have control over someone of this magnitude. Make it make sense. Someone does not like how bright your light shines, how why it is that your star is the brightest star in the sky. It's because of your heart. And some of you are angels in human bodies. And these people know that they see you as oh, that good the angel. Oh my gosh. Do you think we can touch her? Do you think we can touch him? <gasps> You know, like that feeling in the movies where it's like dark everywhere and then we see like this spark of light that's far away. What do we do? We automatically turn our eye to the light because it is really enticing. We want to see the light. It's that there's all darkness everywhere, but there's that light. What is that light? What's in the light? This is how these people are obsessed with you, darlings. <gasps> there, there goes the angel there goes the angel oh my gosh there's an angel there's an angel i have to touch her do you think we can destroy the angel like what in the world made you think that you're supposed to destroy this thing this person 
What in the world made you think you can destroy this type of being? What kind of delusional Kool-Aid did, did you drink? What is in that Kool-Aid? Stop drinking it. Put it down. Put the cup down. Whoever is giving you the Kool-Aid, give them a slap. Is that you had me effed up this whole time. I thought I was on the right team. You've been poisoning me. You've been poisoning my mental. I ought to F you up till you don't get up no more. I don't want no more Kool-Aid. Someone is still stubborn. They're going to keep trying. And everything they do is just going to ensure their ending. There's nothing these people can do to stop you all. Your victory is ensured. I'm telling you, someone should stop, but they're going to keep going. Someone was guided to see things from a higher perspective. Someone was advised either by source, their ancestors, or by someone in their family. They could have gone to a practitioner that told them to give it up. Stop lying. Stop coming for this person. You are not going to win. People see you for who you are. This plan is not a good plan. There is no plan you're going to come up with that's going to destroy this star sea because they are protected. They will always be protected and abundant. Someone is a narcissist. They said, mm-mm. I know I can defeat this person. And guess what? They took their last dollar and paid their practitioner only to be heartbroken and having to accept the fact that they lost. You are still showing up in this energy, wise, stern, in control of your own path. You have that inner knowing. No one can take from you. You are wise knowing. You have a lot to teach people. You could be a spirit guide. This is how people are seeing some of you. And someone is losing sleep. But then, then they tell this person to stop. My friend, this is karma. Sometimes this is how you have to learn. And remember, something only becomes karma when what? You don't learn the lesson the first time. And these people, they haven't learned the lesson after the hundredth time. Or what do they say? The umpteenth time, they still haven't learned the lesson. So these people are going to be incarnating for lifetimes to work off this karma. They haven't learned it in past lifetimes is what I'm hearing so they're going to keep reincarnating because that's how it works. You don't move to the next stage of, a stint, of a ascension until you complete your karma. You fulfill your contract. And these people have contracts with so many other souls and beings. It's ridiculous. It's a long journey ahead of them and their lineages. Oh, would you look at that? I said, said the word right today. I always struggle with saying lineages. I don't know why. You would think out of my education, out of my education that I have, I would know how to say something so simple. But honey, my tongue is tied. English is not my first language. So, anyways. People see you as a teacher. People know you're not a liar. People may have said that you were a narcissist. You were dishonest, but this is you. You are the truth. You've been keeping to yourself. Whoever this is, however, they are not coming out. Someone does not want to be seen. Someone does not want to be heard. And this is because they thought this last plan was the bee's knees. It was going to be successful. Now they don't want to be seen. They're hiding. Why are you hiding, darling? You were bold and confident. When you were coming after this person, why are you hiding now? And you see this person is outside. What are you doing? Trying to hide in darkness and things like that. Why? You see how bright it is around this person regardless of everything they did? Why are you the one with the clouded scene? Why? Why is it gray around you but it's bright blue? There's colors and everything. <laughs> Why? Should have been practical. I said that earlier. Should have been practical. Someone could be pairing up with a uh, king of pentacles. This person is going through a tower as well. 
This could have been someone that participated in this nonsense, this shenanigans with these hooligans. Participated. I don't understand this generation that we are in. It's not even the generation. It's this time of humanity that we are in. It's like the masculines in society that are supposed to be the ones leading our communities away from toxic city. They are the ones that will be the leaders of the karmic journey, karmic veil. This is a whole emperor. It takes a lot to become an emperor. But this is someone toxic. Look at this. Look at this. This is someone toxic. This will be someone, if things were right, this will be a leader of the community, guiding people, being a teacher, because he he holds a lot of knowledge that the generation is coming up do not have, that he can teach them so they can know what path to take or it's easier for them to figure out what path to take in life. This is what masculines are supposed to be in our families and in, and in our communities. Women are supposed to be nurturing caretakers, nurturing their families and the communities, right? Amazing leaders and things like that. But this is what's going on. But the masculines, for some reason, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's in the food they're eating, the medicine they're taking. They are not leaders anymore for a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them are not playing their leadership role. It's like they are so stern on proving their masculinity that they are so toxic, it's unbearable to be with them. And that's why some women choose to be single and unbothered because they don't want to have to deal with this. What's the point of having a man in a home if he's going to be there to mistreat you, violate you in different ways, not support you, leave you hanging? They say you got to baby some of them as well. They're not playing their roles, but they want you to play your role. You know, those one that want you to work a nine to five, but still come home, clean their house, cook, take care of the kids, and then go do them something. Like, what is up with that? I don't get it. Someone was supposed to be practical. They chose not to be. So they're going through an ending as well. There's a king of pentacles in here that's lost, losing a lot of finances. Someone is being humble. This is someone that thought he was above the world. He was above God because he had money. He thought he was in charge of someone else's path. I don't know how that works. Don't ask me. I don't know. I only focus on my path. This is my path. So that's what I focus on. I don't care what's going on in Karen's life, what's going on in Jesse's life. I only know what's going on in Cynthia's life. Whatever is revealed to me here is what I say. After that, I don't care what's going on in anyone's life. I don't care if you're a family member, a friend, co-worker. I don't care what's going on in your life. That's none of my business. If you want to share with me, I'll sit and listen to you. But I'm not looking into it. That's none of my business. Oh, that reminds me, honey, I am a horrible marketer. I'm considering doing readings on here. So I did make a post on the community board. I would try to do a few readings. If you want to pay for a reading, um, I'm going to do it for a short while, but it's not something I'm going to do for a long time because I really just want to focus on doing reading for the general platform for the general, collect general collective. Um, so if you're interested in doing a reading, having a personal reading, let me know, send me an email and I will try it out for a while. But it's not, it's not really something I'm going to be focusing a lot of my energy on. Uh, and that's just because my focus is on the collective as a whole, not the individual, okay? Yeah, because I feel like we can all learn from these general readings and learn how to put endings 
to certain things together, whether we are doing it together or separately, we can all learn from these general readings. There's a king, this king of pentacles, I just heard, even though he's going through some type of fall from grace, this person's ego is still getting the best of them. Someone is still egotistical. Someone is still falling from grace, though. I'm telling you. Someone is still falling from grace, but they was regaining themselves, I guess, in due time. Yeah, this person had to go through some type of ending in order to have this brand new beginning with you because he had to be separated from different characters in his life that he did not realize were going up against him. They were his enemies. Someone has been friends, excuse me. Someone has been friends with the enemy for enemies. I'm being corrected to say. Someone has been friends or in bed with the enemies for a long time. And this is why this separation, this fall from grace is going on, is because he needed to separate himself from these people. This king of pentacles trusted these two people or this masculine. They're saying this masculine. He trusted this masculine, but he didn't realize that, realize that this masculine and this feminine energy were working together against him. So these are people he has known for a long time, even this feminine energy. He does not, he didn't know that this masculine was working behind this woman. Like they were partners in crime and they're both gaslighters. So they've possibly been taking advantage of this person or this was like a goal of theirs. It's like, this is her pimp. He tells her what to do from behind the scenes and she does it. She shows up in this energy. Lord have mercy. This is so complicated. This is her pimp in some type of way. It could be literal or figurative. This is her pimp. He tells her what to do, how to present herself. She's always terrified of being caught in what she's doing. It's an illusion. They have some type of plan to steal from this masculine, but they cannot because it's been found out or they cannot steal from him anymore because the truth has been revealed. This person went within to see the truth. So he's cutting all ties with them. There's something like that. They betrayed this person heavily. So he's taking his 10 of pentacles somewhere else. It's like this masculine told her, hey, if you do this, he's going to choose you over this other person, something of that nature. And then you'll have access to all of this money and this 10 of pentacles and we can live good. You do your thing with him, you get money from him and we can keep our operation going on. This is something that's going on with someone who's a king of pentacles and he's learning this the hard way. And if he didn't know and you watch me, now you're finding out. This is a whole operation he didn't know he was a part of. This is someone he trusted. And this is someone that betrayed him. Someone lied to him. Because he's abundant and they're not. Because this person wants to be abundant. They don't have money though. Or they get their money in unethical ways. That would explain why he's a tyrant. He could have been really DV in this woman. He has some type of control over her. Like, it's, there's magic in it, too. He controls her through some type of magic. It's a power dynamic thing. He overpowers her. And he's been doing it for so long that she feels trapped. But she has this weird mindset where she thinks, like, it's part of life. It's who she is. That she's doing what she's supposed to do. It's part of her calling. But it's not part of her calling. This is a trap. She's binded to this man. He could have done this to her in a past life. Because the energy with them is just too intense. This is a past life karma that they're both going through. And she didn't learn how to get away from him in this lifetime. He was possibly in the same position in her life in a past lifetime. And her karma, 
her lesson this lifetime was to learn how to get away from this man and end this contract. But he won again in this lifetime. Lord have mercy. And she wants out, but she doesn't know how to get out. She may reach out to you and ask for a friendship, ask for help. This woman is binded to this man. She does not love him. He does not love her. But they have some type of toxic connection, some type of toxic uh, a contract that she feels stuck with him. And he knows what he's doing. She's his puppet. He like, just go do this. Sleep with that person. Go over there. Say this. This is like his concubine, his mistress. For some of you, he's possibly using this woman to make money. Like he partner partners her up with masculines without the masculines knowing. So she was paid to be with this person. Lord, what are my ancestors telling me? This woman is paid. She was paid to be with this person. And there was a motive behind it because this is someone wealthy. Dang. This masculine, my darling, you, the star seed, the collective, whoever resonates with this message, he knows where you are. He's either watching you on social media or keeping account of you, possibly through friends and family. He may maybe even drive past your house or something. Someone wants to approach you to apologize and seal the calmer waters with you, but he doesn't know how to do that because he did something that he was not supposed to do. He betrayed you. But it was all divinely orchestrated because this fall from grace was necessary in order for him to go through some type of ascension and learn that not everyone around him, just because they grew up with together or just because he was loyal to them, does not mean that they were loyal to him. This is a complicated story. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I feel like we started off at the Nile River and ended up at the Jordan. Now we're falling off of Lake Victoria's Cliff. Lord have mercy. This person is trying to find a way to get in contact with you or the right way to get in contact with you. This is so complicated. I don't even want to call it juicy because it's really bothersome to know that someone is living in this type of situation where they don't really have control of their of themselves. But they are under some type of delusion that they are powerful that they are confident, they are the ideal woman and things like that. And that's because this masculine has brainwashed this woman to think that what she does is okay. Her body does not belong to her is what I just heard. Her body does not belong to her. So this is something that has been going on for a long time. And he thought he was going to swipe your energy with her. Like they were gonna take your energy and put it in her. and her energy in you. You two were supposed to swipe places. This is like you becoming low vibrational and her becoming a star seed. It does not work that way. How do these people minds work? How? How do these people minds work? Like you were supposed to become the Jizzy Bell, the Femme Fatale, and she was supposed to become the star seed that has all this protection from the universe. And Sora said, absolutely not. Someone may have tried to take on your identity, pretending to be you, even in the spirit. Someone is sitting back saying, whatever your name is, this woman could have been sitting around in her house talking about, I am Ashley, I am Ashley, but it's the, uh, Ashley's ancestors are the, I bet, come again, you are who? Lord have mercy, you can't even like hate people like this, I don't, the word hate is very intensive to use, you gotta feel sorry for people like this, because they don't know any better, I mean they do in a sense, but then, 
if you've been living a specific lifestyle for so long, you won't see anything wrong with it until you see something different. And when you initially see something different, it's going to bother you because it contradicts what you're doing. So you could have met this woman and your energy bothered hers because it was contradictory to what she was doing. So she may have felt inadequate next to you. So she may have made it her mission to take you down and she got the support of her pimp, this masculine, to corroborate with her so they could come after you. That's how it usually works. But whatever they were planning, it's not going to be happening. Source has interfered right off the back. They said, hold up. That was a cute plan, but it stops here. He said, oh, are you two choosing to use the last two brain cells you have to come after my divine being? Is that what you're doing? Okay, and stop. Not happening. Source, what is your advice to us today? What do you want? Okay, what do you want us to keep in mind? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, we know our enemies are praying for our downfall, but we ask for healing for them. Let them be healed so they can leave us the F alone so we can move on with our lives. I mean, we're still going to move on, but, you know, just let them leave us alone so they can find healing. That's all we want for them. We pray you all find healing because we all deserve to be healed. Anyways, we have 6, 6, 12, which goes to 3. Um, Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. Lord, have mercy. What did I just say? That we are praying for our enemies to have healing. That is unconditional love in the best way possible to wish your enemies nothing but good that's unconditional love these are people that didn't show you love but you are showing them love lord thank you ancestors for bringing me here the road to this table has been a long one but i thank you all for making it possible for me to make it here let's get back to this i'm going to start all over okay your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love you are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires i am positive please do keep positive energy around you do whatever makes you happy whether that's listening to music walking out barefooted of course if the weather permits um, touching trees, eating your favorite snack, whatever it is, honey, sleeping in on a day that's not a weekend day, going to get your nails done, getting your hair done, reading a book, spending time with a special friend or family member, honey, whatever makes you happy. Please do more of that so you can stay in that positive energy because guess what? When you stay in that positive energy, it is easier for you to manifest the reality that you want, and the life that you deserve because you deserve to live a fulfilling life. With that said, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, and many, many blessings to you all. Have a blessed day.